<clears throat> yes, yeah, alaikum. And then uh, we uh, try to solve uh, a few questions from this uh, empirical form. Uh, let's say, uh, for example, one estimate the boundary layer thickness at the end of a 4.5 meter long flat plate if wind flow on it at 30 meter per second. Calculate uh, the drag force on one side if the plate is 3 meter wide. Use the empirical data. Assume that the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So first, you need to understand the question and I hope you could imagine uh, the, the situation. So let's say we have a, a long flat plate here. So we have a 4.5 meter, okay? And then it gives you it's 3 meter wide. So you need to imagine, so it has a 3 meter wide like this. So, and then uh, the, the wind is 30 meter per second. So, the wind is very high, is 30 meter per second here. So, and then they want you to calculate what is the drag force on one side. So, means that what you need to understand is if we have plate like this. Okay, let's say uh, in 2D, so we could draw our plate like this. So, when the wind comes from left to right like this, so... The boundary layer occur at the top and also at the bottom of the plate. So let's say if your object is actually rectangular like this. Okay, let's say your object is a cube like this. So the flow is come like this one. And then the boundary layer is actually occur at four surface of that object. So mean it's occur at this surface, also at the top, also at the bottom, and also at the left side. Okay. So, however, if your object is thicker, mean your object has a frontal area. So, this frontal area also will give you drag force. But it's not caused by the boundary layer. So, kalau yang permukaan depan ni, dia bukan disebabkan oleh boundary layer. Dia disebabkan oleh drag force. Okay. Yang bahagian tepi, ia ia disebabkan oleh boundary layer. Okay, yang ini saya harap awak dapat faham. Awak boleh tengok balik nota uh, sebelum ini. Awak kena memahamkan bahawa drag force berlaku tetapi ada ketika disebabkan oleh skin, maksudnya disebabkan oleh boundary layer dan ada ketika disebabkan oleh permukaan itu sendiri yang menghalang pergerakan angin. Okay, so that's why in every question uh, for boundary layer, we always use the idea of uh, uh, thin uh, uh, flat plate. So here, maybe it's not uh, given uh, the, the thickness of the plate. So we assume that the plate is uh, very thin. So and then uh, the temperature here is 20 degrees Celsius. So means that you need to take uh, data for 20 degrees Celsius. So which is this one. Okay. So let's say. So the boundary layer thickness can be calculated by using this equation. So this is the equation that uh, uh, I shown you uh, uh, in previous notes. So however, we need to define uh, the value of shear velocity. So shear velocity can be calculated as this one, tau naught over rho square root. And then we could calculate the value of tau naught by using this equation. So CD 1 over 2 rho u square and the value of CD can be calculated by using this equation. So everything is actually given in the notes. So and then we need to calculate the value of Renault number here. So Renault number is rho u x over mu or u x over nu. So this is nu which is the kinematic viscosity. Okay, so when you calculate, when you substitute all the value, so we know that the nu here is uh, can be taken from the table. So the u is 30 meter per second and the x, which is the length of the plate, is 4.5 meter. So you get this value, 8.9 million. So and then if you calculate, uh, if you calculate the value of ln 0 0.06 Renault number, so it will become 13.1926. So then uh, from that value, we could calculate the value of tau naught. So it is equal to 
1.416 Pascal. So by using this value, we could calculate the shear velocity, which is 1.084 meter per second. And then we could substitute into this equation. And finally, we could get the value of delta is equal 0 0.066 meter. So again, you must uh, understand that delta here is the boundary layer thickness. So means that if we have plate here, so and then the wind comes in, and then you have a, a turbulent boundary layer here, for example, and then at the end of this one, so the thickness here is 0 0.066 meters, so which is 6.6 .6 centimeters. So mean the 6.6 .6 centimeters is quite uh, visible uh, range. Okay, you could see it uh, in uh, experimental work. Okay, okay by right, so you, you will have two boundary layer because at the bottom, it also gives you uh, same uh, phenomenon. Okay. So this is the value of delta. So and then uh, to calculate the drag force, normally we uh, use the equation of CD here. I hope you could uh, uh, know how to differentiate the CD and C capital D here. It is not the same things. So the D here is actually the local one and the D here is actually the total. I mean the total drag force for the whole thing. So, and then uh, the CD can be calculated like this equation. So, we substitute the value of Renault number here. We get uh, 0 0.003. And then we could calculate the drag force by using this equation. So, the value of CD is 0 0.003. We have 1 over 2. So, this is the rho, the density of fluid. So, this is the area. So, the length is 4.5. The width is 3. And this is the velocity. So finally, you will get for one surface, as I said, as I said here, okay, so you will have a 21 Newton at the top and also 21 Newton at the, the bottom. Because the question asks you to calculate only one side of the plate. So this is the answer. If the question asks you to calculate the total drag force, so means that you need to write a... Uh, 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 an assumption okay you, you may write okay the the uh, the, the drag force occur at the top uh, due to boundary layer is 21.94 newton so the uh, drag force that occur at the bottom also will give the same amount so the total drag force is 29 21.94 times 